Hi everyone, welcome to Bus Driver Simulator. I just picked this up in the Steam sale for about £1.80, so an absolute bargain. And it was actually released in 2007 before the success of Euro Truck Simulator 2 and 1. This is by SCS Software. Um, so this was obviously in their earlier days. And clearly you can see from the video which is playing in front of you, the graphics are not half as good as the Euro Truck Simulator, so you can see how far they've come in just a few years. Now, due to the fact that this was before their success, they had still not sorted out a load of stuff like camera views and braking distances, acceleration, um, and all, all that kind of stuff. So, this game really is relatively basic, but it's not bad. I've been playing it for about five minutes uh, before I started this video. But what we're going to do is get right into it because I don't know how long I'm going to play this for. I'm not playing Family Simulator today because I still haven't downloaded a map um, due to slow internet speeds as always, that's always my problem. So I just got this because it's a really, really small file size and I thought it'd be quite fun to do something different because I've been doing Family Simulator for a long time. But don't worry, I will be back to Family Simulator tomorrow. So anyway, uh, this is Bus 83, Sunshine Suburb. Driving a bus in a tidy, quiet suburb on a clear day can be quite pleasant, quite a pleasant, pleasure, it's a pleasure, got that wrong. Few stops, pleasant passengers, great weather and mild traffic, a bus driver's heaven. Do not try to beat this the time, concentrate on following the rules instead, better safe than sorry. That is true. Um, so we're on tier one, um, it looks like we're working our way through the tiers. Um, and we can choose our bus. I think we'll probably go for this one, the blue one. And this is our route, which we'll be taking, just on the edge there. So anyway, let's get right into this. F1 at any time to help, okay. So I haven't got the keyboard and pedal set up. I don't even know if it'll work actually with this game, but you can see I'm, I've got full lock on and <laughs> steering isn't too good. So you can see our total score on the top right hand side which is now minus 10 and obviously you've got to get that in the plus areas doing minor things like changing lanes without signalling, crashing into cars, missing a bus stop, braking too hard all those things will lose you points and also if you're not on time you'll also lose points. So here we are at Potter's Bar, you can see how many people are coming in and how long we've been stopped for. I think we can go, we've been given the all clear, so indicating now, otherwise I lose a load. And we've got bonuses for that as well. Really poor steering though. And it tells you why you've been penalised or why you've been credited and that time it was for proper blinking. Blinker usage, plus 10. Um, but if I accelerate too hard, then everyone screams and I lose about 100 points at a time, so that's not good. And also, if we brake too hard, everyone screams as if we're going to all die. Even though if you're braking, surely you're going to be safe because you'll stop. They haven't worked that out yet. There they go, look, screaming away. Right, let's get this one done. There we go. And also a nice little feature is when you indicate the mirror comes up on the left hand side or the right hand side. So you can see if anyone's coming up in your blind spots. Um, or even in your mirrors that is. Yeah, we just crashed. Not good. Collision, minus 100. I'm not surprised, it probably should be more than that. That's the same amount as braking. Hmm. I think it should be 200 if you crash, because it's quite a serious thing to do. And, I don't know, 25 if you if you brake too hard. Can't really see an issue with it. And because we're using the keyboard, it's making the bus wobble a bit every time I steer it to level it off. And here we go again, braking too hard. Oh, we got away with it. <laughs> what a bonus. Yeah, the, the steering is really poor. I'm going to have to look if there's a, a 
sensitivity for that because I literally can hold it down for about 10 seconds and we only just turn then so that's not too good bus stop I can't believe it that is really sensitive they all scream and I lose a load of points distressed passengers for stopping at a bus stop was it really that bad I'm guessing it probably was we're also timed between each bus stop it looks like we've got 32 seconds remaining to get to the next one which makes it hard because you've got to accelerate hard and then you've got to brake but then you get penalised for braking too hard accelerating seems to be okay but we can distress our passengers which is not good we don't want to be distressing our passengers Minus, oh yes, I changed lane without indicating. We're going to get a distressed, yes, yes. Yes, you can probably tell, <laughs> that's two. You can probably tell that things need to be, I don't know, calmed down a bit. I don't think our passengers will be that distressed. I mean, they're only going a few hundred yards. Anyway, we've got a score of plus ten. Which is, I don't know, it's probably better than nothing. Plus 110. We should get more for not going through red lights as well. It's a fun game. Um, I don't know how long you can play it for without getting bored or just needing a break. But for a short space of time it's certainly a fun game to play obviously they've uploaded updated uh, a load more games and they've brought out Eutrix Simulator 2 which is a real big game everyone loves that game I think or well, nearly everyone here we are at Barking Side a lot of people getting on at Barking Side and, like I said, collision. Scratches. Who's in front? Why did they stop in front of me? Can you believe it? I'm still... Who is he? Oh, this is going horribly wrong. There's two of them. Okay. Did they crash into each other and then I piled into the back, or did I cause all of that? I'll have to look at that in the video when I upload it. Oh, it looks like we're coming off here, this is probably the end. SCS Transport. I like that. It looks like we're in the bus depot. Um, yeah, it's going horribly wrong at the end of the line here. Minus 150. If I could finish off with a score of zero, I think I'd be happy. But no, we finish off with minus 150. That makes this game fairly hard. Oh no, we have managed to get a score of 2,630. Because of a driving bonus. Well, I'm not surprised, the speed I was doing. And on time bonus, again, that's very similar. Um, and of course, our passengers transported, 45 and a load of driving penalties which we can probably uh, ignore. Anyway, I think we put our name in here, Dagowin. Retry, back, can we do another one? Something different? Ah yes, you do one on each bus by the looks of it. Okay, well, I think I'll go with this bus. Afraid of Thunder, bus 26. Normally, along the route of bus 26, you would see a construction site and sports stadium. If only it were not raining. You will face bad weather today. Can you get the perfect mile bonus? Be extra careful, never crash, and don't overbreak or cross lanes without signaling first. Okay. Well, I do all of that, so we probably won't be doing too well. Anyway, a good bus driver obeys traffic rules. They certainly do. Let's go. Get our first people on board. First passengers. A 
the tough thing about this game is the camera views. You can have the one that I'm on now, looking behind, or just bumper view. You have this, and that's not very good, really. Can't really tell where we go with it. So you can't really tell your stopping distance if you've got a car in front. Oh, over braking for that. Full lock. Proper blinker usage, plus 20, that's not bad. If I can finish off with that total score in the top right hand corner of a positive number, a plus number, I'm happy. Because it does seem fairly hard. Don't know why it wanted me to change lanes there. Oh well, we can get a bonus for it. I think it's Christmas looking at these decorations. Oh, it's turned red. Can I oh, I might as well go now. We get a bonus. But that was a major penalty. Not that I'm surprised. Running red light is fairly major. What was that one for? Knocking over a passenger. Bonus there. If only we can get to zero. I want a score of zero or above. That would be nice. Minus 200. This is one tough game. Overtaking you, car. Or undertaking you. Distress passengers for braking too hard. If we just keep doing it in. Yeah, that's how you do it. Keep taking your finger off the key and then keep braking gradually. They're not distressed then. Maybe we'll get a bonus. No? No bonus? Ah oh, yes, I have a bonus of a hundred. Hundred more to go. Oh losing it here. Another bonus. No accident for a mi oh. Well I almost didn't get that one. I got that as I was about to crash into the barrier. These roads are fairly quiet, deserted. Let's see if we can do this before the 20 seconds is up. This could be the end of the line actually. I think it is. Doing more pavement driving than anything. Out of lane, yes I know. One second, and that's a penalty, isn't it? Or I just don't get the bonus. You do get the feeling that it's made by SCS. I, I think if I didn't know, I would still have guessed that it was made by the same developer as ETS. Okay. Minus 85. So we should still have a positive number after all this. Passengers transported 26. On time bonus 74%. Driving bonus 11. Driving penalty 6. Final score of 1955. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not too good, but I guess we're at the top of the leaderboard. Not many other people on it. Anyway, um. One more. Bus 35 towards airport. Bus 35 is used mostly by airport employees. There are two stops along this route. Today's weather is clear but cold. Most of the area is covered with snow and there is ice on some of the roads. Take care to avoid skidding. Your passengers would prefer to be a little late than involved in an accident. I think they would probably be involved in an accident. And late. 
So this is probably going to have even worse handling. Hey, they're all waiting, aren't they? Bonus immediately. Okay, let's go. Straight onto the dual carriageway. I think if you keep remembering to use your signal, your blinkers, then you can get quite a lot of bonuses. You've just got to remember to keep doing it. The scenery does not get better than this. So after this one, I think we will do a bit more on another video. And uh, we'll, I will come back to it, because it's not it's much better than I thought it was going to be, actually. So I'll definitely come back to it in another video. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. Maybe you haven't played it before? I don't know. You might have done. You probably have. Um, so you'll have just seen how, how much I fail at the game, but... I think some people enjoy watching other people play these games. It is better than I thought it would be for a 2007 simulator game. It would have been nice to have a driver's view though, not just a bumper view and the chase cam. But this one is uh, a lot more picturesque, this scenario. I like this snow and all that. I don't think it is slippery though. I think it just said that to make you think more. I followed the traffic rules for a mile. I certainly did. As he hit the ice. Looks like it. Full of toys as well. Penalty for being out of lane. Mm. I get a, that 100 uh, penalty every single time I start. Even when I try not to get that penalty, I still get it. Timetable not followed. Did I run out of time? Oh wait, it's getting slippery. So why is this road not being gritted then? If they do the others. Looks like a fairly major road. Or maybe they had a localised snowstorm. Are we... Is that traffic light for us? I think that's supposed to be for us. It seems a long way in. Hmm. I'm guessing it is. I got a green light bonus as well. So we're definitely going to the airport, looking at the signs. No one goes in this lane, I wonder why. Hey, look at our score. 157. I think I can keep it at that. Still going up. Oh, look at that. Best one yet. I'm impressed. Not a very good score, but I'm still impressed. Okay, let's see what, what we get what we did. How well we did. 87%. Uh, driving bonus 14. Driving penalties. Five, so one less than last time. Not bad. Could be worse. That's the way I look at it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will be coming back to this in another video. But it should be Farming Simulator as usual tomorrow. Um, if not, it will be the next day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.